Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. Here is an important recruitment notification from ISRO for civil engineering, electrical engineering as well as mechanical engineering students. Now let us see the details of this notification. In order to see the notification, you have to go to the URL isro.gov.in slash careers.html. So in that, you can see advertisement number ISRO IRCB 03 CEPO 2025 dated 24 June 2025. So recruitment for the post of scientist engineer SC in disciplines of civil, electrical, refrigeration and air conditioning and architecture. See for this refrigeration and air conditioning mechanical engineering students are eligible. Okay, now let us see the details of this notification. If you click on read more, so you will be redirected to this particular page. So here you can see recruitment to the post of scientist engineer SC in the disciplines of civil, electrical, refrigeration and air conditioning and architecture. So you need to remember this notification number dear students and the last date for submission of applications online is July 14th, 2025 and advertisement is dated June 24th, 2025 and this is centralized recruitment under ICRB. Okay, so area of work scientist engineer SC CEPO. So this is the area and status is open now and location is Bangalore. That is what is given here. Now let us see here, you can observe bilingual advertisement, frequently asked questions is there, click here to apply online. And then here you can observe question papers pertaining to previous years, civil, electrical, refrigeration and air conditioning and architecture. So previous year papers are also available dear students. Now let us see how to apply for these post dear students so once you click on click here to apply online so you can see this page so here candidates are advised not to take any cognizance of fake offer of appointment for job in isro so this is what he is uh, given here in red bold letters so try to understand do not use back and forward button of your browser while filling up online application form so that is what is given here dear students so here you can observe clearly the Civil Engineering Program Office, CUPO means Civil Engineering Program Office at ISRO Headquarters, Bangalore and Construction and Maintenance Division, CMD is located at various ISRO centers. Units are responsible for planning, design, construction and maintenance of all ground-based structures, buildings and associated facilities to cater the Indian Space Program. So, this is about CEPO dear students and here he has given some options here. If already applied, you can print your application by clicking here. So you can change return test center here, make payment and payment status. All these links are given here, dear students, kindly go through that. And here you can see here, scientist, engineer, SC, civil, total number of vacancies are 18. So total number of vacancies are 18 here. You can see this clearly. Then. Unreserved 7, OBC 4, SC 4, ST 1 and EWS 2 vac vacancies are there. So here the requirement is BE, BTEC or equivalent in civil engineering with minimum 65% marks or CGPA 6.84 by 10. Suppose if your college or university is giving both percentile as well as CGPA, okay, any one should Satisfy this requirement, dear students. It should satisfy this requirement. Okay, scientist, engineer, SC, electrical, 10 vacancies are there. Unreserved 3, OBC 2, SC 2, 1 backlog vacancy is there, ST 1 and EWS 2 vacancies are there. BE, BTEC or equivalent in electrical engineering or electrical and electronics engineering with aggregate minimum of 65% marks or CGPA 6.84 by 10. Then scientist engineer SC, refrigeration and air conditioning, 9 vacancies are there, unreserved 4, OBC 2, SC 3, 1 backlog vacancy is there under SC category. Out of the above, 1 vacancy is identified for PWBD category, dear students, BE, BTEC or equivalent in mechanical engineering with air conditioning and refrigeration or allied subjects as electives or as a core subject in any of the semesters with an aggregate of 65% marks or CGPA 6.84 by 10. So that means refrigeration and air conditioning subject should be there in your curriculum and it should be represented in your consolidated marks memo. Only those people can apply. Okay. And 
related to refrigeration and air conditioning any other subject is there also they can apply here scientist engineer architecture one post unreserved category bachelor degree in architecture with an aggregate minimum of 65 percent or cgpa 6.84 by 10 okay that is what is given here scientist engineer civil autonomous body one vacancy is there so same requirement is there for civil and remember that dear students you can apply for more than one post okay so by clicking here <coughs> suppose if you click here so application post applied for scientist engineer sc civil is there post number is there so full name as per the matriculation mark list email address retype email address gender category are you an ex serviceman like this information is being asked dear students and photograph of the candidate only jpg or jpeg file of 50 kb size maximum that is what is given here file name shall not contain any blank spaces or special characteristics so that is what he is saying signature of the candidate only jpg or jpeg file of 50 kb size so these information is there once you upload and enter the information here go for the next step so this is how you can apply dear students you can apply for more than one post if you are eligible by paying the prescribed fees and remember the fee is 750 rupees and once you write the examination certain amount will be refunded to your bank account which you have filled in this particular application form okay then let us see the details of this notification clearly dear students the detailed notification is here so you can observe clearly <coughs> so regarding cepo office all this information i have told and regarding the number of vacancies also I have represented here. So this is a 15 page document where you can see the entire information. Now let us go through the important information related to fee structure and eligibility category here. So unreserved EWS candidates born on or after 15-7-1997 they only can apply. OBC candidates born on or after 15-7-1994 they can apply. SCST candidates born on or after 15 7 1992 they only can apply for this application dear students so related to <coughs> disability they have given the information kindly go through this information so how to apply I have seen the online application number see you can pay the application fee separately and apply for more number of posts also if you are eligible dear students that is what is given in this information so the candidate registered under national career service portal and fulfilling the eligibility conditions may visit isro website and follow the application procedure as stated that is what is given here applications that are not in conformity with the requirements indicated in this advertisement and incomplete applications will not be entertained so if you are working in any government organizations you need to submit a no objection certificate that information is also given here dear students kindly go through that information see there is a non-refundable fee application fee of 250 rupees however initially all candidates have to uniformly pay 750 rupees that is what i have stated per application as processing fee the processing fee will be refunded only to those candidates who appear in the written test as under so refund will be 750 rupees refund in full for candidates who are exempted from payment of application fee women scst pwd and ex servicemen 500 rupees that is after deducting the application fee in respect of all other candidates so this information you have to go through dear students okay so refund of fee shall be made only to the bank account details as provided by the candidate in the application hence candidates are required to provide correct and complete bank details okay account holder name account number ifsc code icrb shall not be responsible for failure to grant refund due to incorrect bank details okay so this is the information given dear students so you can pay the application fee through internet banking or upi payments or debit card or credit card so that information is also given here so kindly go through this information very carefully and you can see the payment status you can see the application form you can download the application form payment status as already i have seen the important links i have shown you at the beginning then coming to the examination centers this is very important dear students exam will be conducted only at 11 venues 11 venues only are there for exam conduction 
అహ్మదాబాద్ బెంగళూర్ భోపాల్ చెన్నై గౌహతి హైదరాబాద్ కోల్కతా లక్నో ముంబై అండ్ న్యూఢిల్లీ అండ్ తిరువనంతపురం సో హవెవర్ ఇస్రో రిజర్వ్స్ ద రైట్ టు క్యాన్సిల్ ఆర్ చేంజ్ ద రిటర్న్ టెస్ట్ వెన్యూ అండ్ రీ అలాట్ ద క్యాండిడేట్స్ టు ఎనీ అదర్ సెంటర్ సో ద కాల్ లెటర్స్ ఫర్ రిటర్న్ టెస్ట్ విల్ బీ సెంట్ ఓన్లీ టు ద రిజిస్టర్డ్ ఈమెయిల్ ఐడి ఆఫ్ ద క్యాండిడేట్స్ దెన్ కమింగ్ టు ద ప్యాటర్న్ ఆఫ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ సో రిటర్న్ టెస్ట్ సో హియర్ సింగిల్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ టైప్ పేపర్ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ టూ పార్ట్స్ పార్ట్ ఏ అండ్ పార్ట్ బి విల్ బి దేర్ సో టోటల్ వన్ ట్వంటీ మినిట్స్ దెన్ పార్ట్ ఏ కంటైన్స్ ఎయిటీ మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆఫ్ రెస్పెక్టివ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వన్ మార్క్ ఈచ్ సో వన్ థర్డ్ ఈజ్ ద నెగిటివ్ మార్కింగ్ దెన్ ఆప్టిట్యూడ్ ఎబిలిటీ టెస్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ విల్ బి దేర్ ట్వంటీ మార్క్స్ సో దట్ మీన్స్ ఫైవ్ వన్ మార్క్ క్వశ్చన్స్ టెన్ టూ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్స్ లైక్ దట్ హీ విల్ బి గివింగ్ or sorry 10 one mark questions and 5 two marks questions will be there total 20 marks questions will be based on numerical reasoning logical reasoning diagrammatic reasoning abstract reasoning and deductive reasoning so then once you clear the written test based on the performance in the written test 1 is to 5 ratio they will call for the interview dear students so that information is also given allocation of marks for interview technical academic knowledge 40 marks general awareness 20 marks presentation communication skills 20 marks comprehension 10 marks academic achievements so 10 marks like this they have given the information kindly go through this information very carefully dear students okay so then coming to the pay matrix so as per the level 10 of pay matrix and you will be paid a minimum basic pay of 56100 rupees per month dear students then in addition dearness elevens house rent elevens transport elevens are payable as per extent rules on the subject so that is what he has given only indian nationals can apply so the rules and regulations appointees are liable to be posted in any of the center's units of isro department of space they are also liable to be transferred to any such center unit at any point of time on need basis so this is the information that is given dear students kindly go through this information very carefully and remember so you have to go through these information very carefully before applying dear students the last date for online registration is 14th july 2025 and already online application registration process has started last date for payment of fees 16th july 2025 so the important links everything are available in the website so you can go through that clearly here all the important information is given once you click here to apply online you got all this information dear students and remember all the important links are available here okay thank you all the very best